Hey, what's up everyone? Since getting the St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle recently, I've been putting together quite a few builds, been grinding out for them on stream, and I've released a few videos recently. Today is another video, and uh, what I wanted to put together was an Eclipse Protocol build that works with the St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle, and I wanted to still have weapon damage as well, I wanted to be hitting hard. We've got five red cores on the build with one skill tier, and it's really good. I really enjoy this build. Before we do get into this build today, if you do enjoy the video, please do give it a like and a share to support and subscribe for more content. I just want to explain where this build came from, because when I got the St. Elmo's engine, I wanted to put together a high damage build, but I also wanted status effects on the build as well as much as possible. And I came up with a Ridgeway Pride Wicked build, very similar to my old SMG build that I did that way before the St. Elmo's, and it worked very well. I really enjoyed it. But while I was using it, I was thinking, what if we could make this status spread? And I switched Wicked out for um, Creeping Death. And I switched the Ridge Rage Pride out for the Vile Mask. And it did work okay. The damage was still very good from a weapon. I had a high weapon damage. But I felt like I was focusing more on the status now. Because I was trying to get that spread from a team on spawn points and things like that. And that then got me thinking, well, there's a gear set that's perfect for this, and that's Eclipse Protocol. So I wanted to put an Eclipse Protocol build together with the St. Elmo's and still have some good weapon damage. And that is what we've achieved, and it's a very good build. And that's what we're sharing today. It's where it came from. So we're going to get into that build now. Similar to the other two builds I shared the other day, we're using the Technician Specialization just to increase that skill tier and make it a two skill tier build. But you can use other specializations for this. You could use Survivalist to increase the amount of damage your team is doing against status affected targets you could also use gunner specialization to increase your rate of fire and give yourself some armor on kill you can use what you want really but i've gone technician uh, obviously the build is kind of being built around the saint elmo's engine we all know what this does so we've got that as our primary and the secondary i've run is the submachine gun the carburetor the name carburetor because you get a uh, perfect thunder strike on this dealing 40 percent extra damage to shock targets you can I don't use it like this myself, but what you can do is get the target shock, switch it out to this, and do some real good damage. Sidearm, don't really matter. Grenade, don't really matter. Go with what you want. But the build looks like this. We keep the Vile Mask from the Creeping Death build, uh, because we know how that works. As you add a status effect, you're going to be adding like a damage over time to the target, and that's going to spread on kill as well. And it works very, very well. And the Eclipse Protocol pieces we've thrown on the build is a backpack, gloves, knees, and holster. And what you want on these is weapon damage so you've got to find them with status effect already rolled as the attribute uh i've thrown a crit damage mod on there as well so that's got a crit damage mod status effect and weapon damage and with the backpack of eclipse protocol you get symptom aggravator so that amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30 percent which is really good the gloves are the same we've got status effect and weapon damage on there we've got status effect and weapon damage on the knees and status effect and weapon damage on the holster as well and very quickly for four pieces of eclipse you're getting status effects skill ace has a protection and indirect transmission where your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refresh 50 percent of duration uh, it doesn't have to be you killing the enemy either it can be your teammate and the chest piece we go for is the perfect glass cannon chest piece headshot damage we're not really using so much but weapon damage status effects crit hit damage rolled on it crit hit damage mod there and you get perfect glass cannon, which is amplifying all of your damage, even from your skills, by 30%. You do take extra damage, so if you don't like the glass cannon talent, you can switch this out for a Fenris chest piece, say, so you get the assault rifle damage, and you can go with something like Obliterate. It won't be increasing your skill damage then, but it will still increase your weapon damage, and it, uh, it, you don't get that cost of taking extra damage with that if you prefer doing it that way. It's a crit damage mod on the mask as well there, and that's how I piece the build together. And the skills that I'm using is the Fire Starter Chem Launcher and the Burn Sticky Bomb. You can see I've not even optimized this build yet. There's some optimizing to do. We've got some more damage to come out of the build, some more status effect to come out of the build as well. Once it's fully optimized, it'll be slightly better. But the stats look like this. You're getting 30% critical hit chance from your St. Elmo's engine, which I know isn't high. Uh, but this build is more prioritized around the status effects. If you want higher crit chance, you go with the Creeping Death version that I did in the video the other day. You get 111.3% credit damage as well. And ideally, in your squad, you'd want someone running a Coyote's Mask to buff that for you. 
But if we have a look at the secondary weapon we're using, the SMG, we've got 46% crit chance with 91.3% crit damage. The purpose of the build is to have those benefits from like a crowd control status spreading build, whether that be your fire chem, blind, or anything like that, to support your team, but then to also be able to switch to your weapon and do some very good damage yourself. And you want to be able to hold your own with that. And the build does just that. Now, this build's not going to be used as your crowd control and legendary content at all. Uh, but for casual gameplay, I'd say even like heroic with directives in the open world activities, anything like that, your countdown, it's going to be a fun build to use, especially in a group. I haven't really tested it so much solo, but I'm also interested in how you would make uh, a red Eclipse Protocol build. Because it's been something that's been on my mind for some time now. And we talk about it a lot in streams. And this is what I came up with with the St. Elmo's. I really like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And let me know how you would make this build if you are making it. I'd appreciate it. But that's the end of this video now. I'm going to move away from these DPS builds with the St. Elmo's now. I've kind of done what I've wanted to do with them. We've covered four builds in total so far, including the Strikers one as well. And I want to move now on to like tank builds. So we're going to start working on that. We'll have some more videos out soon covering what sort of tank builds that this St. Elmo's is going to work for. And I can't wait for that. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit like and share to support it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more content. And until next time, stay safe and peace out.